for First Edition. And joining us live in studio this morning is Liz Walker. She is the owner of the Elizabethan Gallery, which is located in Mid City. You've been in business now, you were telling me over the break, for 33 years. That's and correct. we are hearing a lot about how to support restaurants um, during these trying times. But outside of being a restaurant and a small business owner, what sort of challenges are you facing? Uh, the fact that our clients are limited to come into our businesses and the client and of course the fear that clients now have to go into a public place small businesses particularly like mine and a lot of businesses in the mid-city area are specialty businesses we are service oriented and therefore you can't just call us up online and or, or look online and do shopping my business we do custom picture framing and it really takes an interaction between our client. The viewing of artwork takes, you know, interaction. You have to come in and really look at it. I know people buy online. Uh, that the biggest issue that small businesses are facing, and we have been facing for years, is the uh, continued shopping online. So if you combine the shopping online, which diminishes the client base, to uh, people not being able to, or being feeling like they cannot come out to your business. I just am very afraid that we will see in the weeks to come businesses that will close and never reopen. And especially in the restaurant business who restaurant and, and the bar businesses that operate on very small profit, it's just a, a sad thing. So I just, every small business owner is complying with the CDC mandates, with the governmental mandates. We have all cleansed our bi businesses. We are doing appropriate, taking appropriate mem measures to distance ourselves from our clients. However, I feel like if you are a healthy person and you are also adhering to the regulations, that coming out to a small business where we don't have 10, 20 people in, in our businesses at one time anyway, should be safe enough for you and of course we are doing everything we can to make sure that you feel safe. So let's look down the road a little bit. You know a month from now um, these regulations are lifted. People try to sort of return to what used to be a normal life. Do you think you're still going to be seeing the repercussion of everything that we're experiencing now? I, I absolutely do because first of all uh, again small business owners cannot afford to continue to pay people to stay at home. Um, and, and the cushion that we allow for, for emergencies like this, a month is a long time. So people, I believe, are going to be suffering financially. Businesses are going to be suffering financially. And so therefore, they are going to be paying for what they really need. Their, their home mortgages, sure. their leases, the, the uh, utilities. You're going to start mm -hmm. with the basics, with your food. Oh, everybody's got their food by now. but. Uh, it's going to be months, and we saw this back with the BP uh, disaster. Mm -hmm. It happened in April. The rest of the year was a downslide for most of us. So it's, I hope that everybody keeps a, a, a calm, clear head on this and reacts appropriately to the news on the, that we're given. So what's the one thing that viewers at home can do to support you right now? If you want to give that one message real uh, quick. Keep in touch with us. You know, keep in touch. If, if there is something that you wanted to do, give us a call. If, if, say, for instance, if you wanted to get something framed, give us a call. Let us know. Maybe you can set up an appointment that you'd be comfortable with. Uh, the, the gift cards and all that, I, I'm not so mm -hmm. sure how that's going to work, but for the service industry, for the restaurants and all that, that's perfect. I know a lot of people are hunkering down, as we do in hurricanes, but try to at least eat out at least once or twice a week. Um, if you needed your, your lawnmower uh, repaired, drop it off. Sure. Yeah. Look at your list of to-do things that you put off doing, and please go ahead and make arrangements to do it. Okay. Please try to keep everybody in business. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Liz. We'll have You're more information welcome. posted on our website at brproud.com about her business and some ideas on how you can certainly show your support during these challenging times. Thank you. Thanks, Kelly.